Hello everybody, I decided to go ahead and do a weekend energy update because I'm hoping to go ahead and start doing them live next week. I'm going to start doing weekend updates, live energy, okay, that whole thing. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just record it today so that you guys can have a love energy update for the weekend, okay? We're on the weekend already, so let's say Saturday to maybe even Monday. <laughs> let's just do an energy update, okay? <laughs> let's just do it. Okay, so I'm going to actually start with uh, fire signs today, okay? We'll start with fire signs, then we'll do water signs, and then after water signs, we'll do um, air, and then earth last, okay? So fire signs, we're going to start with Aries first, all right? Okay, I've already shuffled, but I'm doing three shuffles each, and then we'll see what we get. What is going on for Aries right now? What do they need to know about the weekend in love? What does Aries need to know about this weekend in love? Okay. Justice. Uh, I'm going to do it like I used to do before, guys. Three cards and then one oracle card. Ooh. Okay. So, Aries, I think... Um, Wow, this is really good. We've got Justice, Two of Wands, but the Ace of Cups in reverse. I feel, Aries, there is a huge balance for you going on in love right now. Something even this weekend. There is a door opening to a possible Ace of Cups situation, possible love, possible new love. Um, it could also be that uh, you are trying to look for something new. Okay, you're trying to look for something new in love. I do really feel drawn to this justice card. It's almost like, um, it's like you're waiting for something to, to come to fruition. And then here with the two of wands, yeah, a definite waiting, looking out and, and, and the door is opening. Things are happening. Things are happening. Some of you, this may be what you're afraid of. An Ace of Cups in reverse. Maybe you're afraid of, mm, yes. I think that maybe some of you are afraid that whoever your love interest is or whoever you like or who you think a new start, it's not going to happen. Hmm. Absolutely. Um, but I feel overall for you, it's a very balanced, this is a very balanced energy for you. Something is definitely coming through. <laughs> I think something is coming through. Mm-hmm. Wow, Aries. Okay, let's let's get let's I think that it's just not it hasn't happened yet. This is what I'm hearing. It's like the door is opening, there's there's a balancing there's a balancing act happening. And it could also be because you had a lot of situations like this. Okay, Ace of Cups in reverse. A lot of, you know, giving love and not receiving love back and and now you're just hoping the door will open to something that is fulfilling. Okay? So let's take a look. Let's get you an Oracle card. Playfulness. <laughs> Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Oh my. Oh, somebody's holding emotion back for you. I just heard. That's what this is about. Someone's holding emotion back from you. I feel as though they want to, maybe they feel you're playful with them or that, that when they're around you, you're fun, but they're hold I think someone's holding back. I think that's what's actually happening here. You're presenting a door, a balanced door, a, a balanced opportunity, but they're holding back. Ooh, <laughs> Aries. So get that playfulness in. I think that someone's attracted to your playfulness. That is crazy okay <laughs> all right so let's move on let's do Sagittarius next what is going on for Sagittarius oh I almost forgot my shuffle I haven't done this in a while I don't know if you guys have noticed I haven't actually done this in quite some time <sighs> I'm trying to quit coffee guys I'm gonna be doing a chat video later um I'm trying to do decaf because I I realized something that the coffee it's like actually making my brain kind of go crazy too much so I gotta chill on it. Okay, we have 
the Seven of Swords in reverse. Oh, somebody trying to change maybe. I feel like maybe someone's trying to change their ways. They don't want to, or maybe they don't want to get caught. Um, let's see. Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay. And, wow. Okay, so Aries, or sorry, Aries, Sagittarius, I feel right now what's happening is there is something you want to change about yourself. Okay, there's something about yourself you want to change or someone you know wants to change something about themselves because they're ready to stop suffering. Okay, somebody has been suffering. They, they've had sleepless nights. For some of you, I'm hearing someone's having an actual, like, consciousness, like they're coming into consciousness um, because they've been very unhappy, I think, for quite some time with the way that they've been here with the um, seven, of, uh, seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody's trying to change. Someone wants to grow. They don't want to be like how they used to be. This could be you because you've been unhappy and you've had a lot of sleepless nights. You've had trouble within your energy. I'm feeling a real heart, um, heart pain, okay, like heart chakra pain. I'm feeling that right now when I connect with the energy of this reading. So I do feel um, whatever it is that you're doing right now, okay, keep it up because um, it's it's a good thing. Okay, it's a good thing they're changing or if this is a person you know in your life and their energy is around you and they're trying to change, let them keep doing what they're doing. All right, Sagittarius, because they need to do that. All right, let's get a lover's oracle. It could be because they want better love in their life, you know? Maybe they were sneaky with you. Maybe they were a cheater, a liar, but now they're, you know, they're trying to turn a new leaf, so to speak, okay? Turn over. We have transformation, okay? So you or someone you know is transforming, and your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So this is either your relationship with yourself, Sagittarius, is going to get better, um, and it's starting this weekend, or the relationship with the person that you love very much is going to start transforming because they're deciding to change. That is very interesting. Okay, that was Sagittarius. All right, let's see. We have Leo is up next. What is going on, Leo? Oh, what's going on for Leo? I want to know. Oh, crap. That all fell out. Okay, we'll take these three. Yes. Okay, we have the moon in reverse. King of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Oh. Okay, something's going on here. One sec. No, that's the moon, not in reverse, it's the moon. Something is being revealed to you right now. Um, and, and I feel it has a lot to do with your finance, okay? And it could be someone that you feel you that you may have a family home life, uh, a family life with, a home life. Okay, Leo, but whatever it is, it's all about the money right now. I feel as though either someone has come into your life or you're, 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 I don't know, I feel like you're having talks about money with somebody um, and you're trying to continue your stability. This is actually a pretty good energy, but I do feel here there is some emotion wrapped up within the energy. Maybe there's something you're worried about when it comes to this person. It could be an earth sign that you're dealing with. This could also be your energy worrying about something. Um, I feel as though, however, that overall your energy is pretty good. I just think that what's happening is there is there's a, a focus on the finances this weekend and how to keep your stability, maybe even in your relationship based around finances. And I feel that whatever it is you're talking with this person about here, I really do feel you're talking with someone here when I look at this card. That um, if this is a family member or if this is someone you love, I do feel it is a relationship, that you guys are going to work it out. Maybe you have been fighting about money. I just heard that. But now you're kind of trying to get out of the emotional and start moving more into the practical. Okay? And that's actually really good because... Um, Money, if money is causing any kind of problem or illusions or issues in, a, in your relationship, it's really good to sort it out. 
now. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, there we are. We have sexual union. <laughs> All right, so you guys are probably going to, you know, do it. <laughs> afterwards we have honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss maybe some of you met somebody that you have deep emotion for that has the money <laughs> leo Woo! I think Leo's having a good weekend. That's all I got to say. You got money, you got you got stability, you got some sex, like can't ask for anything more, right? For some. <laughs> all right. So, where, what did I say I was going to do after that? Water signs. Let's do water signs. Okay. First up, we have Pisces. What is going on for Pisces? Pisces. Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces and love this weekend. Tell me about Pisces and love this weekend. Why do you want to give me so many? Just chill. Chill, deck. Chill. Emperor? What? <laughs> Emperor? Five of coins. And King of Cups in reverse. Okay, so Pisces, I feel, okay, this is an emperor in your life or someone that you see a possibility with here with the five of coins sharing with maybe. Um, but, but we have a King of Cups in reverse. Are you not telling someone how you feel about the relationship? Is there something going on? Are you, is there an emperor that you want? Is there an emperor in your life? I feel with this is your energy. This is the other person's energy. Though this could also be your energy and you're focused on money. Coming out of a time of not being so... I'm a Pisces and I, I've been getting this one a lot for the past few months. <laughs> um, but Emperor. Okay, so either this is just your energy or this is someone in your life. And there's something going on around either charity or sharing or being upfront and honest, I feel, about how you want this to work out. Or they are being with you and you may be holding back emotion. I also feel somebody is... I don't know why, I just feel like maybe somebody is trying to help you, Pisces. Someone may be trying to help you and you just don't, maybe you're, you're not feeling the vibe. You're not feeling the vibe of what it is that they're offering you just yet. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. That's interesting. Let's get a lover's card. Boy. If you've got an emperor in your life, congratulations. We have. I feel like this is just you holding back, like you're holding back, or maybe they're holding back from you. Don't make ah, here we are. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So, yeah, I feel Pisces, whatever's going on in your energy, you are definitely holding back emotions and you haven't quite made a decision yet about an emperor in your life. And maybe you're trying to weigh whether or not this is something where, you know, you could help each other or they could actually help you in, in your relationship together. Um, emotional disparity is also what I'm he hearing. Maybe this person makes you feel very um, emotionally in tune, but you're, but you're blocking them out. There could be something that maybe they're trying to get access to your emotions and you don't know how. So you don't want to make a decision of offering emotions to them based on the fact that they're putting an effort in. So instead, you're, you're waiting to make the decision based on something else. Okay? So yeah, if, you're, if your emotions are not fully invested in, in someone, you know, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out whether that's what you want or not. Um, but yeah, I really do feel a bit of apathy when I connect with that energy. All right, Pisces, that was for you. Let's do cancer. Cancer next, please. 
Cancer. What's going on for Cancer? <sighs> it's kind of weird not having coffee. But I need it because I, I can't. I can't meditate. I'm having trouble with it. It's a bad habit that I've had to break. It comes back sometimes, and then and then, it, then I get rid of it again, and then it comes back. But it fucks with my meditation. It fucks with my process. So maybe I'll start drinking tea instead and do tea and chat. Okay. We have a king of swords. This is for cancer, by the way, in case you forgot. Hmm... Seven of Coins. You're being analytical about something. Uh, you're examining it. And then we have Seven of Swords. Wow, this is weird, Cancer. What's up with this? Okay, so I feel that you have taken a standpoint, okay, with the with the King of Swords energy to, to kind of like be more analytical and honest about something. I feel like you're examining something or you're re... <sighs> What's the word? You know, it's like re-exam. No, it's more like re-examining something. You're re-examining it and you're using your logic and your rationality. You're not using emotion. You're not using, you know, and you're not using passion or creativity. You're just kind of coming from a place of being rational and as you examine it. And I do feel here with the Seven of Swords, this is a, th there's a reason for this. You're trying to strategize something. You're trying to figure out what it is you're going to do next. Okay, Seven of Swords is not always lying and cheating, okay? Um, I feel that whatever it is that you're rationally looking at, that you're you're trying to discover if this is either a relationship that you're examining or, or a relationship with someone you're examining or a person or something. You're just re-examining something in your life currently and you're trying to strategize your next move. And I think that that's good. That's good because you're not acting on impulse. You're taking the time out, okay, Cancer, to really think about this and be wise about what your next step is. Because maybe there was something you grew here. Maybe there was a garden, okay, and when I say garden, it could be anything. Job, relationship, um, uh, uh, creative endeavor, um, person, okay, uh, situation, right? Maybe it's not what you wanted. Maybe there's something more you want. Okay, Cancer, maybe you're you're trying to figure out if there if there's more to it. All right. So let's see. Let's see what love message we have for you. I like my new desk. Mm -hmm. It got it got here yesterday. It got here earlier. So you probably notice I'm at a different angle here. But I'm still setting it up, setting things up. But I like it. Okay, what we have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Hmm. So whatever it is that you're strategizing, Cancer, okay, whatever it is you're thinking about doing, maybe you're thinking a little too hard. Maybe the problem here really is uh, I, time. Maybe you need to wait it out and see if that's really what you desire or what you truly want. Maybe there's something you're waiting for or, you know, whatever. Whatever it is that's going on, um, maybe it has to play itself out till you make a decision. Maybe you need something in reality to play itself out first before, okay? That was cancer. So take it or leave it. All right, next up we have Scorpios, my favorite. Scorpios. Oof. They'll be the death of me, I tell you. All right. Tell me, what is going on for Scorpios? What is going on for Scorpios? What's going on for Scorpios? Same energy, almost. Uh, six, uh, seven of coins in reverse again. What else? Tell me what else is going on with Scorpio, please. Emperor. Hmm. Okay. Slightly different. Tower. Okay, weird. This is almost similar to the um, Cancer energy. One second. I'm, I'm taking a sip of decaf. Don't judge me, okay? Ugh. 
<laughs> That's nasty, Scorpio. Okay, so <laughs> you got seven coins uh, again in reverse, Emperor and the Tower. So I feel this is um, you trying to get control over something. You're trying to get control. Um, <sighs> Oddly enough, this feels very similar to the Cancer energy when I connect with it. I feel as though you're try you're trying your hardest to not. Oh, maybe, no, slightly different. Maybe whatever it is that you're examining, Scorpio, or whatever it is that you're looking at again, or you're wanting to grow, okay? You have come to a realization. Um, this is this definitely your energy. Whoever this Scorpio is that I'm connecting with, congratulations, whoever you are. Because um, I think you're very aware of a tower moment that's about to happen in your life. I feel that, and so you're taking stock of everything in your life that could possibly fall apart or that you don't like or that you realize, you know, it's kind of like the emperor. He has all of the, all the stuff in his storeroom, right? All the things in his storeroom and, and he's preparing for, um, I don't want to say battle, but preparing for to be attacked. Like he's going towards all his armaments, you know, and he's like, all right, what is here that we can use and can't use? Okay. What, what here is, it's shit. What can we use and what isn't going to use? Because you know, it's going to hit. This is kind of how I feel. You know, this is that it's going to happen. So it's like, you're buckling down in your fucking tower here, knowing that there's going to be a change in your life that you can't avoid. So that's very conscious of you, Scorpio. Okay. Um, let's get you a lover's card. This could be a relationship, could be job, could be profession, you know, it's falling apart, a situation that you know is coming in, but you know, it's coming in. So you're taking the time to see what resources you have before it happens. Right. Okay. So let's get a lover's card. What do we have? It is important right now to take a, you have this, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. <laughs> Instead of placing your focus on another, now's the time to give to yourself. Exactly. That's what you're doing with this emperor um, energy. You're like, you know, you're taking control of the situation. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about all that you have, how you can plan it. And you're probably doing it alone. You're probably thinking alone in your head. Okay. Thinking about what to do next. Um, this could be a relationship that something I also heard for some of you, this could be a relationship that is changing the, there's something that's going to come in and, and change your relationship for you and your person that, that, you know, is going to happen. You just know it. I feel like you're bracing for impact. <laughs> if that makes sense. All right. So that was beautiful Scorpios. Um, we're going to work next on air signs. Okay. So we are going to do, uh, Gemini. We'll do Gemini first. If you guys are wondering what I'm looking at when I look over there, I'm actually looking at uh, a sun window and I can look outside and see the treetops. It's in the roof. <laughs> and I just can't help but look at nature. I just want to go out there right now. All right. What is going on for Gemini today? What is going on in the world of Gemini this weekend? What do they need to hear? I feel like uh, with these energy updates, it gives you a quick update. So you kind of know how to handle what's going to happen when the week starts as well. Um, when During your weekend. Because, all right, we have, ooh, Nice, Gemini, Ten of Cups, home, happiness, feeling good at home, feeling happy, pleased, the ultimate smiley happiness. What's up? Maybe you're just having a good weekend. Hmm, maybe not. We got Knight of Swords. Hold on. One more. Ah, okay, here we are. Gemini, you have decided this is what's happening. I feel like you are letting go of something, okay? We have the um, Eight of Cups here. You're letting go of thoughts. You're letting go of either communicating bad thoughts or, or looking to the past, okay? You are now blocking the past out because you want happiness and comfort, okay? You want to feel good at home. You want to feel happy, joyful. Um, like some of you, I just feel for the weekend, what this literally means is that you are not communicating with anyone this weekend and focusing on letting go of bad thoughts and feelings to feel better about your life. 
Okay, Gemini, and that's good. And I do feel as though um, you could be leaving a person behind that doesn't communicate with you. For some of you, this, like, you, or you may be blocking someone and it's making you feel really good. Okay, Gemini, like, you're done this weekend. You don't want to talk. Okay, so let's see what we have. Lover's card for you. What do we have? Lovers. Oracle. Tell me. We have acceptance. Ah, here we are. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And that's why you're here. Look at the guy walking away. He can't control what happens with these cups anymore. He knows that it's time to move on. Right? So whatever it is that you've been trying to control, you're releasing for more happiness. Okay? That's good. Good energy, Gemini. Good energy. Okay. So let's go on to Libra. Beautiful Libra. Then we'll do Aquarius. I know, I'm just kind of choosing whatever it is I feel like doing in what order. What's going on for Libra this weekend into the next week? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Need to know? Hmm. We got Knight of Swords again. I may need to shuffle more, but let's see what we get. Tell me more. Please. High Priestess in reverse. I love you guys. And also Eight of Cups. Okay, so Libra. The first thing I just heard that popped in my head is um, releasing a secret. How odd. I feel like there's something you've been hiding, Libra, or someone you know that has been hiding something with a high priestess in reverse, but now they're going to tell you, or they're about to tell you because they want to let go of the guilt. Uh, they want to let go of how it's made them feel. You may, uh, this may be an energy, I'm feeling an energy around you. And I'm also feeling like just in the sacral area, like a really churning kind of feeling like someone's telling you something that is disturbing or like, ugh, I don't want to say cheating. I want to say that, but, um, they have, they had blocked it out or maybe you had blocked it out and denied it. And, but now, okay, it's coming out. It's coming out so that you can move forward. There was just something here that had to be revealed. And now it's happening, okay, this weekend for you or it's going to happen come, upcoming in the week. Um, wh whoever's going through this, I'm really sorry. I feel your pain right now. But you're going to be all right, okay? Um, tell me. What what else? One one lover's oracle card, please. These are so freaking hard to shuffle. Oh my goodness. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Okay, that was your lover's oracle. Yeah, you know, let this person communicate to you. Let them talk. Let them let out their feelings. It also could be someone is letting out how, letting out the past to you, telling you about how they may have felt or something that happened. And um, you're going to you, just go with it. Okay, like I feel like the, the message here is go with it. Let it, let it come through you. Let it happen. Let the person talk. Let them speak about their past or talk about their mysteries, okay? Because someone here has been holding it in, I think, and not communicating it for quite some time. All right? Okay, so that was Libra. Good luck. Now we want Aquarius. I'm going to actually cut the deck here just to get a little bit of extra shuffle in. What is going on with Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know right now? 
Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know right now? Then I have a window over there as well. So I get to look outside a lot. <laughs> okay, we have Justice in Reverse. <sighs> Seven of Cups in Reverse. Uh oh. What is up, Aquarius? And King of Swords. can't get rid of that feeling from the last one um someone is just like really hurting right now um okay so I feel f what's going on right now is there is definitely <sighs> I feel like you you feel like you made the wrong choice about somebody when I connect with this You've made the wrong, you've, or someone feels like they've made the wrong choice. And then here with justice, now they're feeling kind of like it's, it's unfair that you made that choice. And so then we have the king of swords. Okay. This is you. So now you're kind of being, um, king of swordy. Like you're, you're telling, you're telling yourself the truth and you may be communicating to someone that. You know, this isn't what I, ah, that's it. That's what I'm hearing. This isn't what I really wanted. Okay. And I feel as though you have to do this. Um, it's good you're not like this because that would mean that you're detaching or you're hiding it or you're not, you're going cold on the person, but instead you're being upfront and honest, which is good. Um, maybe whoever you chose, okay, or an option that you had, and I really feel this, this may be someone that you started dating or someone that, um, came into your life. For some of you, I'm hearing that it was like, okay, you know, those app, the apps where people like they get together to just actually like <laughs> have sex. Okay. Maybe you hooked up with someone, but now you're having to turn them down. This is what I'm hearing. Aquarius like they're just not they're just not what you thought okay um ouch to that person uh <laughs> let's get an oracle card it could also be you that's getting rejected I don't know why I just feel like somebody's telling somebody like this is not this is not what I want that's too much that's too much sorry just one please one lover's oracle card for Aquarius When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but that just straight up says to me, like, this was good. I had a good time, but it's not really what I want. Um, I'll take the good memories with me, though, of the time we went out to the movies or, you know, this could even be someone that I just heard. Someone may have got friend zoned. Yeah, but I got good thoughts. I got good thoughts of you. So whoever's doing that, kudos for being honest and not like just stringing somebody along here. Okay, Aquarius. <laughs> All right. So what is next? Uh, last up. That's right. Earth signs. We can't forget the earth signs. All right. Let's do. Let's do uh, Capricorn first. What? messages do we have this weekend for Capricorn? What messages do we have this weekend for Capricorn? These cards are so heavy, but I love that. I love that. Sun in reverse. Hmm. I feel you guys are very, you're either unhappy about something that's transpired or there's a truth that is yet to be revealed to you. Okay. Three of pentacles. Mm, okay. That's good. What else? Three of wands in reverse. Okay. And then, oh, interesting. I just got drawn to the queen of cups on the bottom here. You could be dealing with a water sign, Capricorn, possibly. Um, sun in reverse. So I feel that you're working on something, 
Okay, maybe you maybe you are you're determined to work on something with somebody else, but you're having a hard time seeing whether or not this person actually is on the same page as you and wants to move forward, Capricorn. And I feel the reason for that is either because this person and you aren't talking, or there's just something something I, I really do felt it was it was something hasn't come to light yet something needs illumination that hasn't been illuminated yet so you're working on it you may be thinking about working with this person but then we have three of wands in reverse maybe there's some fears or maybe you just don't think there's anything's going to come of it mm, that's a possibility or maybe the other person maybe the other person doesn't think there's anything that's going to come of uh, working on the relationship together, a creative endeavor, um, whatever it is, okay? There is an overall energy here of, I feel, I feel when I look at the card, it's like, it's kind of like, you're really determined to work on this, but um, the other person may be resisting you. Okay, Capricorn. So let's get you a lover's oracle card. Maybe that will give you some advice on what to do. soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically yeah i feel what's happening here is like this is a current energy like with a person definitely with another person they are probably a soulmate okay a, a soulmate connection but what's happening is you're putting an energy forward of working but the other person is not Okay, or at least your the the connection maybe has not been established yet, or you know something they don't know. Um, but I be careful, Capricorn. Okay, if this is making you unhappy, you don't want to get into some kind of mindset where you you're like, well, it's not happening now. I have that habit myself sometimes. Like it's not happening now, therefore it's not going to happen. Like you know that's really negative, and there's really no purpose to it because maybe time is what needs to happen right here with your person. Maybe they are working on themselves but you want to work with them, but you're getting kind of in this set, like, well, you know what? I don't really, I mean, it's not practical. There's, there's nothing really happening. I don't, I don't really see anything of this just yet. So maybe you're being a little bit to yourself, Maybe you're being hard on yourself, Capricorn. And what's the point, right? So I feel soulmate, be gentle with the soulmate. Maybe there's something that's yet to be revealed there with the sun. Something they don't know about you or you don't know about them. Maybe it needs some time to come out. Okay. All right. So that was Capricorn. Let's do Taurus next. What is going on with Taurus? Beautiful Taurisians. <laughs> what does Taurus need to know this week? And love, energies, messages. What does Taurus need to know this week? Ooh. Trust your intuition. Okay. We've got chariot. Ooh. Control your urges, Taurus. What else? What else? Five of Cups in reverse. Somebody's done being unhappy. And I feel this is you. And you want to move towards something because you don't want to be sad anymore. Ooh. Okay, we got three of Pentacles again. Yep. Okay, Taurus. So whatever's going on here, um, you're tired of sadness. Okay, and I think you want to run away from it. You want to go towards somebody or something that's making you happy. And you want to work on it hard here with the Three of Pentacles. You want to work with them, maybe. Planning. You may even be planning, I'm seeing here, with the Three of Coins. Perfection. Um, you see something, perhaps, as worthy of being worked on. That's good. But with the chariot here um, and this, maybe you've suffered in the past with emotions of sadness towards this situation. And sorry about that. Something happened. So what we have here is... I'm trying to remember now. 
Five of Cups, Chariot, and oh, yes, that's right. You're willing to work on something. You're moving towards something, and you're done with sadness, okay? Grief. You may have been feeling grief, and this is actually really good, Taurus, because if you were like this before, okay, and you're releasing it, you're starting to realize that um, whatever it is you're moving towards that you want to work on, heck, this could even be yourself. You're moving out of a space that was um, probably a little detrimental emotionally, so that's really good, Taurus. All right, let's, something has sparked your interest here with the chariot. Mm -hmm. Let's get you an oracle card. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Wow. So yeah, I feel as though this is definitely a relationship you want to head towards. Something you're ready to finally work on that maybe before you were not ready to work on. So that's really good, Taurus. Wherever you're heading, that's a really good uh, energy to be in because I do feel whenever I see this Five of Cups in reverse, I get so giddy. Like, um, you know, this, the, this, the, you're done, you know, being sad. You're done being, you know, mourning and, you know, feeling maybe, I don't know why some of you may be feeling guilt about something too, you know, just. Now you're going to go for these two cups, the two of cups. Maybe this is a, a relationship that you're after, a union, a soulmate, okay? Uh, we did Taurus, Virgo. Virgo is last. Okay, Virgo, what is going on? What does Virgo need to know today? I have to get back in the swing of these because I'm so not used to doing them. What is going on today? What does Virgo need to know today? Quick, quickie, quick, quick, quickie. <laughs> Hangy man in reverse. Hmm, you guys may have been waiting too long or sitting around too long, getting enlightened about, about ooh, Ace of Coins in reverse. One more. Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay, Virgo. Sue, so, you guys, last on my list here. I feel as though you had been waiting around for a start, something new to happen, something that you were ready to work on in the material world. Could be a relationship, could be a job. You have been waiting for it for quite some time, and perhaps you felt like you had very little options when it came to this. Um, unfortunately, here with the hanging man, I don't want to say you're going to be waiting longer. Uh, if this is a job offer or a relationship offer, you may stay stuck in this energy for a little bit longer, okay? And I think that maybe the most important thing here would be to re-examine why you feel this. Like there's no other choices for you. It could be that you're stopping yourself or somebody is stopping you, okay? Whatever this is that you feel you don't have the ability to move away from with the hangman in reverse here, heck, it could even be a water sign you're dealing with that um, you have been waiting on. That's a possibility or vice versa. Yes, I just use the card to brush my hair back like that. Um, don't do that. Um, but yeah, I do feel that um, whatever is happening here, you don't want to stay waiting till, you know, forever. Now you're gaining perspectives. You may be gaining perspectives while you're here, but it's it's almost like you're holding yourself back. That's what I'm hearing because there is just something that is not happening. Okay, so that would be your energy this week. So let's get you a piece of advice. I feel like maybe you've been waiting for a person to get the picture. Okay, Virgo, to get the picture that you want them maybe or that this relationship could possibly work. Um, but maybe the fact that you feel you have no options isn't good. It's causing the hangman in reverse. Okay, so let's get um, one more. Let's get one more card for you. This one. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so I don't want to give any false hope here, but there could be a new love coming in. This could also be what you're waiting for, actually starting to work out, whatever it is. But um, there's romance, okay? So if you have been waiting this long, um, waiting for something to work out, start exploring your options, okay? Because Cupid wants to give you this lovely little heart, okay? Cupid wants this for you. All right, you just got to get out of your freaking head. Okay, Virgo. All right, uh, that was that was everybody. If I missed you, sorry. Next time, I will make sure I do not miss you, but I'm pretty sure that is it. Did I do Aquarius? Yeah, I did do Aquarius. Okay, I will see you guys later, and have a great weekend, and pay attention next week for my readings, okay?